Some of you know that I have random encounters with wildlife, small wildlife, stuff that really can't hurt you. Stuff that might scare me, but really can't hurt you that bad. I think the scariest thing that I encountered was a, a tiny spider, but I don't know if spiders are poisonous, so they all scare me. And I, anyway, I came home the other day and I walked up to my stairs, started to go upstairs, and there's this dude there that just says, dude, and he points down at the ground, and there is this humongous, huge, big, red, fluorescent pink snake. I've never seen a snake this color before, and it's just sitting there, looking at us. And my first reaction when I see a snake is, burn it, kill it, stomp on its head. Because I do not like snakes. They're just all slithery and Whoa, ugh. Um, I know there's a lot of you out there that can share my feelings. So this dude, I, I don't know if this snake is poisonous or not poisonous. I don't know what you call it, non-venomous. I don't know if it's some weird snake from Africa that somebody brought home as a pet. I don't know, because there are some crazy people in this town that I live in. There are people that have baby alligators and they get tired of them and they release them in the lake. Yeah, there's alligators in this lake. There's a, somebody who told me that one time they were in a, a gas station and they saw that the owner had what looked like a piranha in a fish tank. I know there's fish out there that look like piranha that aren't piranha, I forget what they're called. This dude swore up and down that it was a piranha. And if that dude gets tired of the piranha, he's just gonna let it go in the lake. I'm not gonna say where I live, but I live on a lake and I don't swim in it. And then whenever I jet ski, I, if I fall off that jet ski, I walk on water or run on water to get back on the jet ski because I don't know what's down below my feet. If I can't see my feet, I don't like it. Anyway. So this dude is standing there, this real cool dude. He's real, he's calmer than I am. Actually, I'm calm because there's a dude there and I can't freak out like I normally would. I, I grab a, a rake and start smashing his head and, or something. Oh, I don't like it. It makes me nervous talking about it. And now, I don't know if that's, that snake's gonna come back because when it was turning its head, it looked straight at me and did the little tongue thing. So now it knows what I look like. And when you watch this video, you'll see that it's such a strong snake when the guy gently tried to push it off the, the wall it's stuck to the freaking wall so now that snake can come back and slither up a tree and hang there waiting for me because he knows what I look like and these my apartments I bag my windows up mainly for for insulation But I unbagged them one time, and I'm laughing at myself. I opened up my windows because it was cool outside, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna turn my air conditioner off and let the cool air blow in. When I opened it up, in my mind, I started formulating, you know what, there's critters outside. They're gonna feel the warmth of my apartment inside, and they're gonna come in and crawl on my face when I'm sleeping. So, I bagged my, anyway, I don't think the snake can get in I don't think he can get in my apartment. I hope he can't. I live upstairs anyway. However, the neighbor below me, where the snake was in front, the snake was in front of her door. I don't know how she would have reacted if she came home and saw that thing. Because as you can see in the video, that thing is huge. And she's got a little tiny Pomeranian dog named Caesar. Caesar's a big name. But that snake would eat Caesar. Like Caesar was a uh, coconut cream puff, Dolly Madison snack cake. We just, oh, and just eat it. Oh. And what? I don't know if that was like a genetically altered snake or what, because I've never seen a snake that color before. So if you know what kind of snake that is, make a post or something or send me a message and say, hey, stupid, this is a 
uh, non-venomous boa constrictor. You know what? I got a I got an acquaintance on Facebook. She goes to my jujitsu class. I'm not gonna say her name for her privacy, but she's got this huge freaking white snake with red eyes and it's a python. If I had that thing in my house, it would wrap around my neck when I was sleeping with my eyes closed and kill me. Yes. So, what's the matter with you people? As we were, as we were escorting the snake down the grass, down the wall behind the apartments, I did start feeling guilty because it was so gentle. It didn't strike at the dude's broom. It didn't like, it didn't hiss at us or do the little tongue thing. Well, it did the tongue thing when it was looking at us, but it wasn't like a mean tongue. It was just like, what's up? But it wasn't mean acting. And as you can see in the video, it just it kind of moves along. So did I already say I felt guilty? I felt guilty after we got the snake off the wall because I thought, you know what? That snake was so calm and tame. I wonder if we just scooted somebody's pet away that escaped. But you know what? That was a snake that escaped in front of a neighbor's house with a small cream puff coconut dog. I'm sorry that your pet is gone. If that was your, somebody's pet, don't don't get mad at me. I don't know anything. But I'm so 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 sick of pets escaping and alders get out. Alders get out. Alders get out. Alligators being released into the lake because people are tired of them. Take care of your pets. Keep them in your house. Whoops. Piranhas. Why can't people just be normal? Get grief. Holy cow. That's all. Click the button. Click it. Right there. Click it. The song's gonna end and the video's gonna end and it's gonna be over and you're not gonna be able to click it anymore. You're gonna have to push back on the video and Google's gonna freeze up on you and it's everything's gonna be screwed. Ugh, anger.